Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about two things. Uh, first one is about the intervals of increase and decrease on a graph, and the other part is going to be about the end behavior of the graph. But both of these fall under the general category of uh, an analyzing the graph, right? So we're going to be looking at any graph that we want. It's not anything special, right? This is just a generic set of lines that was drawn, right? And so what we can do with these graphs uh, for intervals is to describe what's happening between two things. And on the graph, those two things are going to be points, right? So we can describe that on this particular graph that over here at negative five, if I start at negative five on the x-axis and I travel to the right, Right, and I end at negative two, right, that that section of the graph as I travel from left to right is increasing. Whenever I'm thinking about increasing and decreasing, right, it does kind of say down here at the bottom, we always read from left to right. So I always think about if I was a little car on a mountain, right, and I was driving up this mountain, right, I would be going uphill until I got to this flat part, and then I would go uphill again, and then I would go downhill, right? So that's why I use that terminology in the definitions. Increasing is if I was all the way on the left-hand side, of, of that section, uh, am I going uphill or downhill, okay? So you can see that there are three possibilities. I'm either increasing, going uphill, I'm decreasing, which is going downhill, right? Or I am constant, which means that I have a flat space that is not going up or down, right? So we're gonna use interval notation, which if you remember is the square and round brackets uh, to describe these sections, but you can equally describe them using uh, an inequality notation if that's what you want. So let's take a look at an example. Okay, so in this graph, we're going to state all intervals of increase, decrease, and constant intervals on the graph. Okay, so let me just clarify something about this graph. Um, we're working under the assumption, because I don't see points on the end of this, that uh, this does continue with arrows in both directions. Okay, so we're going to do the three different categories. We have an increase section. Okay. We're going to have a decrease. Okay. And we're going to have a constant. Okay. And so let's start off with the increase, right? If I'm looking at this graph, I can see that uh, it's going uphill. If I was, again, think about being like a little car over here. It's going uphill right here, okay? And then I see there's another section over here where it starts low and it starts increasing. It's going uphill here, okay? So this section right here is also uphill, okay? So if I want to describe those two sections using interval notation, here's what I'm going to do, okay? This first section here, it starts uh, with an arrow on the left-hand side, which means it continues to the left forever, right? And if you remember, we use infinity to represent forever, right? And because this is on the left-hand side of the graph, we're actually going to write negative infinity, okay? And then this one keeps going until it gets to an x value of negative 2. So I'm going to say, neg uh, starting at, an, as far to the left as you want, it's going to keep going uphill until you get to negative 2. Okay, I'm going to put a round bracket on both sides of this. Okay, uh, infinities never get square brackets because that's not something I can include. Right, but I'm also not going to include the negative 2 because that is not a spot where this graph is increasing. This is actually the spot where the graph turns before it starts going downhill. Right, so I'm not going to actually include the endpoints in any of these intervals because those endpoints are either going to be uh, the infinity symbol, which is not really an endpoint, right, going forever, or uh, it's going to be a turning point, okay? So I'm, I'm always going to use the round brackets for this particular uh, analysis, okay? So if I look at this other purple section, it starts at 2, right? And then it ends at 4. So I'm going to say there's also an interval of increase uh, that goes from 2 up to 4, okay? And then I'm just going to do that for each of the sections, right? So if I look at the graph again, okay, I can see that it goes downhill right here, okay? And it also goes downhill on the right-hand end of the graph, Right, so I should have two intervals of decrease. Okay, so we're going to say uh, starting at negative two and going up to negative one right, is an interval. Okay. And then the second one starts at four okay, and travels forever to the right, so I'm going to use positive infinity. Okay. And then my last section here is this middle one, the only one that's not highlighted yet. So let's highlight it. All right, so this little section here is flat, which means it's not going uphill or downhill. Right, so that's one that I'm going to call a constant interval. And that starts at negative 1 and it ends at positive 2. Right, so there's one constant interval from negative 1 up to 2. Okay, and so that's all we're trying to do here is to uh, kind of 
take it all, look at all the sections of the graph and give a description about whether or not they're going uphill, downhill, or they are flat, which we refer to as increase, decrease, and constant. Okay, So that's our first thing we can do is we can look at all the sections of the graph and we can describe what's happening. The other thing we might do is to take a look at the ends of the graph. So there's some, this thing called end behavior. Okay, And so the end behavior is literally saying, uh, when you can't see the graph anymore, there's either going to be something like this, which is an arrow, okay, or I'm going to get rid of this in a second, but maybe there will also be just an end point, right, in which, in, in which case we're saying that this particular end does not continue forever, right? So for our graph and for a lot of graphs, they do continue forever, right? There's arrows on both ends, right? And when that happens we can describe what's happening like where this is going to go forever and we're going to describe it as either going up forever or down forever right and so that's why you can see right here i have four categories that we can fit these um, double arrow graphs into either they're both going up right which is what our graph to the right here is doing or to the left here is doing they're either both going down okay the third possibility is maybe the left hand side is going up but the right hand side is going down and then the fourth possibility is the opposite of that, which is down on the left and up on the right, okay? So it's one of these four, again, barring the possibility that one of the ends might actually just not have an arrow at all, right? If that happens, we would just describe the one that is going forever, right? But for ours, we're going to say this is an up, up graph, okay? So here's how we're going to write this. We're, we're un, um, unfortunately, in math, have our own language. We don't use up, up, right? So instead, what we're going to do is kind of use a, a form of an interval notation uh, to describe what's happening. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. We're going to write about um, two things. We're going to describe uh, that I'm going to talk about the left-hand arrow, and then I'm going to describe what it's doing. And then I'm going to describe the right-hand arrow, and I'm going to tell you what it's doing. So here's what it looks like. So if I wanted to describe the left-hand arrow, okay, here's what I'm going to write. Okay, I'm going to say as x approaches, the left-hand side is the negative side of the graph, so I'm going to say negative infinity. Right. So my way of saying that we're talking about the left hand arrow is to say as X approaches, that's what this arrow means, as X goes towards negative infinity. OK. And then if I wanted to describe the right hand arrow, OK, so this one over here, right, I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to say I'm going to write okay, as X approaches positive infinity. Right. So go to as far to the right hand side, which is where the positive numbers are. Right. So I'm going to be able to describe the left-hand arrow and the right-hand arrow, okay? And then I'm going to describe what they're doing, right? So is the uh, the right-hand arrow going up or down? So I'm just going to write this is the category up or down, okay? And so in this case, our graph is going up, right? So the way I'm going to describe that as is I'm going to say f of x, okay, or y, right? This graph actually has a y on it, but I want to get I want you to get used to using function notation. So I'm going to call this f of x, okay? So f of x is approaching, right? If I go up forever, I'm going towards the positive numbers, so I'm going to write positive infinity, okay? And then my right-hand arrow, right? That's this one. That one is also going up, so I'm going to say f of x is approaching also positive infinity. Okay, so I get four sections of this. The first two are never going to change. We're always going to be describing the left-hand side as being x approaching negative infinity. We're always going to describe the right-hand side as approaching positive infinity. Okay, on the second part of this, when we're describing what those arrows are doing, okay, we're always going to write f of x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity. The only thing that might change is if the arrows are going down, like let's say, for example, this one like kind of turned and went downhill instead, right? I would say, oh, the right-hand side is not approaching infinity because that's a positive direction. That's up, right? It's instead going down towards the negative numbers. What I would do is I would change this one to be negative infinity, right? So the only thing that's ever going to change a part of the, as a part of this notation is potentially the sign of the infinities right here, but everything else you write will look exactly like this, right? So the way we're going to describe the ups and downs are whether the infinity after f of x is positive for up or negative for down, okay? And that's all there is to it. So graph analysis is what, whether we can describe the end behavior, right? And we can also describe uh, the intervals of increase, decrease, and constant.